Whatever your thoughts on the unfolding war in Ukraine, I think you have to give it up. This, what you're about to watch, is incredibly brave. This is Channel One. It's basically Kremlin propaganda that's fed to a lot of people in Russia. And here's what happened during the broadcast today. О том, как смягчить воздействие западных санкций, говорил сегодня Михаил Мишустин. На встрече со своим белорусским коллегой российский премьер подчеркнул, надо усилить сотрудничество в рамках союзного государства. А на совещании в правительстве обсуждали, как сохранить доступность. They very quickly cut away because this person jumped on stage with a sign against the war in Ukraine. This person also happens to be an employee of the television station. We're going to hear from her in just a second. Marina Oivsyanakova is her name. I'm doing my best to pronounce that. And after she did this during this broadcast in Russia, which I'll tell you what happened to her in a bit, she then posted another video to social media. Notice the necklace she has on here. То, что сейчас происходит на Украине, это преступление. И Россия страна агрессор. И ответственность за эту агрессию лежит на совести только одного человека. И этот человек Владимир Путин. Мой отец украинец, а моя мать русская. И они никогда не были врагами. И это ожерелье на моей шее, как символ того, что Россия должна немедленно остановить братоубийственную войну. И наши братские народы еще смогут примирить. She put the blame solely on Russia's president Vladimir Putin which is explicitly against a new law, which is why she is currently in jail as a result of all of this. К сожалению, последние годы я работала на Первом канале, занимаясь кремлевской пропагандой. И мне сейчас очень стыдно за это. So she was an employee. She even admits, I was working on Channel 1 doing Kremlin propaganda. I'm ashamed that I was telling lies from the TV screen that I allowed to zombify the Russian people. We kept silent in 2014 when it all began. We didn't go to rallies when the Kremlin poisoned Navalny. We just simply watched this anti-human regime. And now the whole world and 10 more generations of our descendants will not be washed away from the shame of this fratricidal war. Pretty wild. I mean, that's a very, very intense statement to make. And to get up on the uh, television stage in front of a giant portion of Russia and do this to risk going to jail, to risk all the other things that will undeniably happen because of what she did. Very brave. Wild stuff. And afterwards, there were a couple of stories that suggested that she was indeed arrested. An employee of the newscast of the first Russian TV channel protested live on the broadcast against the war in Ukraine. This is a translation of a story from... A NAS, not NL. The woman is called Maria of Sinekova and has been working for the channel for a couple of years. Uh, they said, according to Russian media, she has been arrested. Other outlets saying that uh, this was during a weather news bu bulletin. Well, you could hear them talking about, you can see that they were talking about sanctions at the time. The live footage was covered with other video frames until the woman was taken out of the studio. It soon became known who she was. She was. Uh, an employee, I say a protocol has probably been drawn up against her in accordance with Article 20.3.3 of the now popular Code of Administrative Offensive. This is what is allowing these Russians to arrest people for stuff as stupid as holding up a blank piece of paper. I kid you not. This is only one of many. Blank piece of paper. 20.6.1 this time. Stop your illegal activity. <laughs> Stop your illegal activity, man who's standing in public with a blank piece of paper. What do you think about this? React below. I'm continuing, he said. And there they go. That's it. They took him, is what they just said. All over a blank piece of paper. Here's another woman with a blank piece of paper. In one instance in one city, a woman just holding up a black blank piece of paper. Uh, was taken away by the police, an indication of how they are keen to crack down on anything that looks like a protest. And these don't even really look like protests to me. There's no large gatherings of people. You don't have enough time to protest. They're throwing everybody in jail, some of them for as long potentially as 15 years or more. Here's another one of these activists, and watch what happens to her. He's an activist. Do you support peace activists? Yes, of course I do. I just wanted to ask, what do you think if I'll say here two words? Stop war. I mean, how amazing. Like she's sitting there saying, how long do you think it will take? 
With these, this little sign with two words on it. Right on cue. Frightening stuff that we're seeing come out of the uh, Moscow area and around the world as things continue to heat up with the war in Ukraine. But this woman, to me, incredibly brave, whether you agree with her or not. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me your reactions. If you're new around here, facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit that follow button for updates just like this on everything happening in the world. YouTube.com slash the news junkie. Hit subscribe. I appreciate you to everybody who is supporting these videos. You can do that below the video in most cases. Uh, and I look forward to your comments. As always, I'll interact with you. And thank you for watching. Talk to you again real soon.